Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're watching this video in good health. So many of you were asking, should you come to Canada in the near future or not? All those people who have got their PR recently or maybe in the winter season were thinking of moving to Canada in the summers which is the best time to come to Canada. But with the current situations, with COVID-19 restrictions in place and all the health emergencies, should you come to Canada in these difficult times? Will you be able to find the jobs? Will you be able to find an accommodation? What problems will you face? How easy or how difficult is it? So to discuss all of it, I will be talking to Deepika, who's a new immigrant who moved to Canada just a month ago, just before the US-Canada border was about to get closed. So we'll be talking to Deepika. I am sure this video would be very helpful for all of those people who want to move to Canada in the near future, in the upcoming months. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back after the short intro. Right, so thank you Deepika for joining today. Uh, thank you Shitanshu for having me. So uh, can you tell a little about uh, yourself, uh, where have you worked and uh, you know, maybe uh, why did you come to Canada? Yeah, sure. So uh, I'm originally from India. I moved to US a couple of years ago. It's been over five to six years for my higher studies. And then I started working in Texas uh, on my H-1B visa for around three to four years. So I was not really happy working over there on my visa situation. As you know, you know, H-1B does comes with a lot of limitations. So I decided to move to Canada. So when did you migrate basically? When did you come to Canada from US? When was that date? So I did my soft landing uh, last year in August 2019. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to US because I still had a job. So I wanted to wrap up things over there and then move to Canada for good. Once I know what I'm going to do over here. But since COVID-19 started and the pandemic started, I had to make a decision because uh, the prime minister announced that he's going to close the borders. And I really don't want it to be stuck in the US for a long time. So I was like, OK, so I moved here uh, during the third week of March. Uh, yeah, to, on 16th or 17th of March for good. I so, think a couple of days after that, the borders got closed. Exactly, exactly. So once I moved here, I was self quarantined for like for at least two weeks. And uh, things were not easy. Like I had a plan in my mind that, okay, once I move to Canada, this is going to be my, this is what I'm going to do week one, week two, and maybe in two or three months, I'm going to have a job in my hand. But uh, I think I have to change my plan of action now. So uh, when you landed here, what were the first problems that you faced? So the very basic things like, like for example, me and my fiance, we both were self quarantined, so we couldn't really go out. Uh, so getting the groceries, we didn't have any stuff in, in our house, getting the groceries, we needed help with that. So we had to like, I had to ask a few friends or I had to message on the Facebook forums of Canada that, like, okay, can somebody actually drop the groceries outside my house? Then the second thing was I didn't have a network connection over here. Um, and after my self quarantine period was done, I was like, okay, maybe I can go out and get a mobile connection so I can start giving my, my friends and my family my new number. So that didn't work out as well because most of the stores were closed. Then um, the, ma the major thing was like looking for a job or, you know, meeting new people or meeting the recruiters that was not easy as well and that is still not easy because i had like i i thought that i would start going to job fairs but because of the pandemic most of the of course all the job fairs are like cancelled right now so you can't really go anywhere and uh, you just have to sit at home and wait for the situation to get better <laughs> really good that you at least uh, obeyed what government has to say that you had uh, you know self isolated yourself uh, for 14 days that was really good uh, okay, so starting with the problems like you couldn't get your SIM card because of that because maybe all uh, most of the um, you know, stores are closed. Was that the problem? Yes, so most of the stores were closed so I could not get a SIM card. Uh, but luckily like I had my US SIM card so that worked in Canada as well. So I was using that on my room and gone. But I did figure out that thing then uh, later on. And then after that like I think the other problem that I had was I had to get my OHIP card my uh like i had my sim card because i landed last year 
start to get my OHIP, my other insurance stuff started sorted out, but that was also being really problematic since most of the SIN offices here are closed. So I have to wait until they reopen. So, uh, okay, so just to let our viewers know, uh, to help the new immigrants, what the government has actually done is that the federal government is uh, applying SIN, the SIN number, which is the social insurance number, which basically is a basic requirement to open your bank account to get the OHIP and stuff like that. Uh, so the government is actually offering online services for that. However, I was trying that for my wife, <laughs> but uh, she couldn't get it because that uh, website was not working at that point of time. I did try it a couple of days back. I haven't tried it again. I, I hope it should be working fine by now. Apart from that, uh, what the what the Ontario government, what the provincial Ontario government has done is that uh, earlier they had this period of three months. After your landing, you had to serve that period of three months where uh, you had to stay in Ontario, work here. And then after that, uh, you would get your uh, OHIP started. So for that period of three months, every uh, you know new immigrant actually had to um, you know get her uh, his or her insurance done basically from his own pocket. We know that you know Canada has got his uh, its uh, you know obviously the medicals are free here. So that is not the case for the first three months. But what the go uh, the Ontario government has done for now because of this pandemic is that they're issuing it right away. That three month that three months period has been wiped off momentarily or I can say temporarily okay so uh, coming back to your problem so uh, did you guys had home here to live and did you face uh, any, faced any problem because of that so uh, we already had a rented apartment where my fiance was living but I know a very close friend of mine like she moved to Canada during the month of March as well and uh, she had an Airbnb for like two weeks because she was like, okay, maybe after that she will not have problems finding an apartment. But uh, the Airbnb people were not willing to extend her stay anymore uh, because of the pandemic that is going around. And she really had difficulty finding an apartment or uh, a home, home town somewhere over here. So uh, she had to come here and stay with us for a few weeks until we could help her out in finding an apartment. So I think this is what most of the people are going around, people who are like recently landing in Canada. Um, it is very difficult that you would find an Airbnb apartment. Problems that you might have faced in getting a job interview or so you belong from an IT industry or some other industry? So I belong from the healthcare industry. Uh, yeah, so I was working as a project manager before. So like I had a few uh, thoughts in my mind that, okay, I would go to job fair. I would try to meet more people outside, get my connections done because that's how you would, you know, eventually land up a job in Canada if you have good connections. But because of whatever is going on, you can't really go outside and meet people. Like I tried connecting to a few recruiters in Canada that, you know, sending them my resume. But uh, one of the recruiter, he was very upfront about whatever is going on. And he was like, you know what? Because of the pandemic, we are not really hiring right now. The hiring is very slow. So I don't want to give you any false hope, but it's going to take you some some more months. So be prepared. So because of that, yeah, because of that, you know, I, I feel that people would exhaust their savings. But though you, you know, you are coming from India or from anywhere else, you are getting some savings. But since the recruitment is not that fast right now and they are hiring very slow, people would exhaust their savings if they come to Canada right now. So, and here I would like to raise a point about proof of funds. So when you uh, might have gone through Express Entry uh, program, all of us actually submit uh, this, uh, you know, proof of funds where we have to show that we have certain amount of money in our accounts that we can take care of ourselves. That comes handy here. You know, uh, most of the times I, you know, people keep asking me questions that would it be fine if I take some loan from bank and maybe return it? That's not the big good way of doing it. That's kind of cheating. You should never do it. Uh, people ask sometimes that maybe I can get the, that money from my parents and I will uh, return it back to them. So think about it. Returning back that money to them would not be a chance here. If you're taking that money, that would be a proper gift deed. Uh, you should do it legally in the proper way. But you should note that uh, you would need that money here in the tough times. 2020. I am. Uh, I made this video where most of the people, people actually agreed with me that, that uh, 2000 should they come to Canada in 2020 or not. So 2020, it would be very tough for all the new immigrants who are coming here. For, of course, because of uh, the you know the COVID problems, the economic crisis. Apart from that, uh, your job, you know, obviously it would be a big trouble. As Deepika was saying, that uh, it would be a trouble uh, going forward. So 
did anyone actually give you any hope of uh, that there would be any job interviews in the upcoming time maybe some online interviews or maybe if there were any interview schedule before that before you tried to come here so i did have a few interviews like you know scheduled before but because of the pandemic that was going on they didn't get back to me uh, they were like you will have to wait until the situation is solved and then we can go further so right now all i'm doing is i'm just trying to take some courses online i'm trying to use this time in a good way so that i can improve on my skills uh get some more certified courses in my bucket so when finally you know when the situation is over i would definitely land up a job then <laughs> i definitely hope so and uh, i just hope that the situations would improve very soon uh, okay so these were all the negatives so uh, did you find any positives in this situation as well uh, i i know that the negatives would overcome the positives of this in this situations but did you find any positives in this situation so um like personally like for, for for myself i think the positive thing was since i was working in us i could never take a long break like this <laughs> because i was on a visa so i am like you know i'm taking this break where i'm just relaxing and doing my uh, you know updating my resume working on my skills updating my linkedin i'm also trying to connect with a lot of recruiters online via linkedin you know just sending them my resume and stuff so all that is happening which is good for me um also i feel that uh, when i posted on the facebook forum that okay you know we are self quarantine we need some help with groceries and stuff there were a lot of people who were ready to help so i was like oh okay so it's not that uh, you know this is a situation that we cannot really do anything about it so there were many people who were, who were really willing to help you which i really liked so people so, are being kind and helpful in the situation which is good yeah so canadians are famous for that um, <laughs> that they're so polite they're so kind yeah they're, they're always like we never see uh, it's very rare that we see any kind of discrimination between uh, you know um, any canadian who is discriminating between a permanent resident that okay you came from a different country never i've uh, heard from any of my friends anything happening like that here at least around me so that is something good because uh, more over more most of the people have actually come from different countries so so this is canada is a place of immigrants uh, so that is something really good about canada okay so uh, having said all of that having said uh, the problems that uh, you might have faced until now there there are some positives there are many negatives at this time um, i'm sure you would be hopeful that you would be getting your job pretty soon so talking of all of that would you suggest anyone uh, to come to canada let's say uh, the situation gets better in the next couple of months this is we are in the mid of april uh, now maybe you know may maybe uh, june mid or maybe june end maybe after that so would you suggest people coming over to canada and what precautions would you suggest them and what other advices would you give to them uh like first of all make sure if you are planning to land sometime in the next few months in canada make sure you have your accommodation sorted because that is very 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 important you don't want to come here and be like okay i don't know where i'm going to stay so make sure your accommodation is sorted um uh, second thing is like if you're coming here be in the mindset that you may or may not have a job okay so you should get your savings you may exhaust your savings if you don't have a job and you don't know when when the recruiter uh, when the recruiters are going to start you know calling you for interviews and when you will get a job so you should be prepared that okay you will have to sit at home for a few months or you'll have to work in some other uh, field not your field for some time yeah. so that is the that is the most important thing right now so i in like personally if i was given a chance to maybe you know uh not come to canada i think my fiance was here it was easy for me to make a transition i feel because he's already settled over here so i do not really have that a lot of financial load or think about oh what i'm going to do about my basic necessities but if i was in the other uh, other category if if i didn't have anyone then i would not be coming to canada at this point of time because i don't want to exhaust my savings i don't want to live alone right now i would rather go back to live with my family for some time if it was the other case all those viewers who are thinking of coming to canada who cannot postpone uh, you know uh, their their trips or uh, you know their landing too much if even just first of all you just make sure that uh, you are landing here you know with taking all those precautions 
whenever you're landing here, it try just try to make sure that uh, you know obviously you isolate yourself uh, for 14 days or whatever the norms are when you come here. After that, the best thing to do would be uh, at this time I would say that you know just stay here for some time if you find that the conditions are favorable if you find that you can get a job uh, again not everyone can get a job but yes some people can get a job in these times as well so if you can get a job then nothing better if uh, you cannot if you feel that you know you would actually end up burning up your savings pretty soon then I would advise you and I, I'm sure that Deepika advise you the same thing that you should actually uh, you know stay in your home country for the meanwhile when things get better maybe do a soft landing here go back and then you know uh, when things get settled up then think of coming to Canada with a you know brand new plan in your mind yeah. so uh, thank you Deepika thank you so much uh, I am pretty sure that uh, this conversation between us would be very helpful for our viewers uh, you know so many people are there who are who are actually planning to come to Canada uh, in these months because uh, generally what happens is that uh, when we get the PR let's say in the month of December or January we think that we'll go in summer you know that's the best time to come over here because obviously uh, you can go out you can enjoy uh, there are more job opportunities in this time but unfortunately we're all locked down so uh, it's better that uh, we continue doing what we do in our home countries if you haven't resigned from your job I know I've been getting many messages as well that some people uh, have already resigned they were just planning to come uh, you know in the last week of March and they were just wrapping their uh, you know stuff up it would be very difficult for all those people but uh, you know nothing can be done about it at this time so thank you Deepika for uh, all your time and uh, for agreeing to do this because it's not easy coming in front of the camera and uh, you know discussing your problems with people but so, uh, but you did that, so I'm really thankful to you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having me. I'm, uh, I was happy to help people. Thank you. Thank you.